What is up YouTube? This is Darkify, and um, today we're doing another episode of Redstone Fun and um, basically I'm going to try to get these out weekly on probably, what's today? Monday? Is today Monday? No, today's Tuesday. Getting these out on Tuesday and because I know some of you guys have subscribed to me because of my Redstone creations. I appreciate that guys. But yeah, so today is a Redstone Lamp hidden door. As you can see, Redstone Lamps require a Redstone Signal to stay on. And I have torches, so I figured you can make a really cool hidden door with this. And that's exactly what I did. Also, this is my push room in a survival series that I used to do. But, um, so yeah, so if you flip the switch, it turns it off, and boom. Secret door opens up. So really easy for hiding stuff, especially when you have sort of bases like this. Um, it's a fairly simple design. Let me break some blocks so you get back here and see it. So yeah, really, really simple. Easy to use. Um... And in general, it's just a really good place to hide stuff. The door's not that hard because I'm doing it on an angle, so it literally is just two pistons doing that. And yeah, it's not that hard. So let's go up top to where you can actually see where I can build. And we actually have room. Um, we'll do it right here in this uh, swamp biome that I cleared out for this video. And basically what we do is you just want some sticky pistons some uh, redstone, redstone repeater, you can, obviously you're going to want a lever and you're going to want your redstone lamp because that's what the basis of this door is made out of because you're going to want to make it hidden. That's kind of the main purpose of this video because I've done this kind of redstone door before. Um, you can do it really easy, simple design like this and then if you're not, if it's not at an angle it's going to be kind of like, oh there's probably a door right there but if you did it like the other one that I did and it was at an angle which I'll show you how to make it at an angle right here. So we do it like this. You could have your redstone lamp like right there. You could put your switch on it. You just, I need that. Throw it on there. So when that turns on, that turns off. And actually what you guys are probably going to want to make it do is when you put it on there, just do it like that. Carry it around. You're going to want to make sure you have that. Place that. And then I'm sure there's a thousand other ways to do this because uh, there's always seems to be when it comes to redstone. But if you guys have a, uh, just leave your, uh, leave comments, you know, don't be yelling at me about a thousand other ways I could have done it to be more efficient. But if you have any like good tips or ideas for the door, I'd appreciate seeing those. So as you can see, it moves out here. So you might want to move your stuff a little bit more. So it's a little bit more hidden, sort of like that kind of thing. So, you know, when you, uh, go and switch it, Go like that, and then it opens up, but obviously since I have. Since you're probably going to want to make sure that it's out first when you first build it, or else it's going to So yeah, build it out like that, and then when you uh, switch it, then you can walk on through, you can have some hidden little secret chamber back here, whatever. Uh, if you want to make it a little more complicated when it comes to the door, you can do a uh, completely secret hidden door. But since I was doing it on an angle there, it was already hidden fairly well. I, none of my friends have found it yet. But now that I uploaded this video, they're going to. So I'm probably going to have to change some of the light. But, um... That right there. I actually did that wrong. Don't listen to that guy. You're going to throw it on this side. It's busy talking and not paying attention. Anyways, grab your redstone, place it like that. Drag it around to wherever your, uh... Next piston's gonna be, since your next piston's gonna be right there, when it opens up, make sure you just place, don't do that. Place your blocks like so. Like that. So, so that way when it opens up this direction, it'll open up those and do it like so. So now what you want to do is you want to place another redstone right there and make sure you set it to, I think, two ticks. Uh, you just hit it twice, so I'm gonna call it two ticks. Place your redstone torch, see if it opens up. If it does, good, break it. If it closes perfectly again, that's good. So now what you can do is you just leave that there. You can uh, build around it like I'm going to do real quick. Um, get it all hidden. I'll show you guys just where you can place your... Uh, well, I mean, you can place the redstone lamp anywhere. But you want to make it a little more of uh, like a decoration and not really entry point, point key thingy. Because, you know, if there's just like a random lamp laying somewhere and it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the uh, other things in the room, I should say, the decorations, decor, whatever you want to call it, so what we could do is we could place one right here. Could I believe if I do that it's gonna activate it. So yeah, you don't you don't want to place it right there. Don't place it right there. Could place it right here. 
then you could put a switch on it right there. And then let's see, three blocks away, so one, two, three, so we can place it right like that, so we can make it look a little even. Torch right here, and then obviously make sure it goes off. You can just carry this around, and I'm sure there's easier ways to get to it, but for the sake of the video, just to show you guys how exactly it would work, you do it like so. Um, you can place that there. We could probably place one right here just to be safe. Which... Um, and yeah, so now what we can do is when you walk up to it, obviously, and obviously I forgot to do something. Let's grab a picture frame just to see what it will look like. Um, it's only a six minute video. Yeah, but if I know where they're at, I don't use picture frames, or not picture frames. I don't use pictures a lot because, uh, I don't know, they're kind of ugly. In my opinion. I'm sure I passed and you guys are face palming. I would think it would be in this area right there. It is. I'm blind. It's like wool to me. Alright, so let's place it. And let's try to throw down something large. There we go. And, of course, that's really not going to work. Can I get anything larger? There we go. So I kind of want it... There. So now when we face it, it's there. So when it closes, you should be able to walk on through. And yeah, so it's pretty much hidden, and it just broke. Did they fix that glitch? Whatever. If they fix the glitch, it doesn't matter. I thought you used to be able to walk through without it breaking, but I guess they fixed that or something like that. I don't know. I need block updates. Maybe you can only have it with a door. I'm not sure. I figured it would work, but oh well. I mean, it's still pretty hidden. Now, if you have one of those friends that are just annoying and they like flipping switches to annoy you, they're going to discover this. But uh, yeah, that pretty much does it with this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there's a ton of secret ways to do entrances, and that's kind of what I'm trying to bring you guys out there. Showing you guys just all the different ways. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how to make it even more hidden, or even, I don't know, uh, ideas for new videos that you guys would like to see from me of Redstone, leave it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to do those videos for you guys. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.